Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to create a multi-module project using Spring Boot application. So before jump to the code, we should know the need of this multi-module project, isn't it? So as usual, let's consider one use case to understand more about this multi-module project. So let's assume I want to develop one hospital management system. Okay, so for that what I need to do, I need to write couple of services. Let's say I wrote doctor services, patient services, diagnosis services and billing services. So if you observe this approach looks good, right? Then why we need multimodal project approach? So to understand that we need to find out disadvantages in our traditional approach. Okay, so the first disadvantages I can say the code reusability. Let's say from billing service, I want to use couple of class in doctor services. So in such case, as both are separate project, I need to copy paste those class in doctor services. Same for if from diagnosis services, I want to use couple of class in patient services, then I need to again copy paste those class. I can't reuse those class instead of I am doing here code duplication, isn't it? And the second problem let's consider in my production server doctor service getting failed okay and i know the fix it is getting failed in dao layer or in repository layer okay so to fix that issue again i need to rebuild doctor service and again i need to push it to the production server so we can optimize it like i can create separate repository module or separate service module so if the issue is in a repository module then I can fix that and I can redeploy that particular module instead of entire doctor services okay so similarly we can consider one more disadvantages let's say I have some common generic notification service okay so who will take the responsibility to send a notification to multiple users so if I want to use that particular notification service in doctor service or diagnosis service then I need to do the REST call to that particular service, isn't it? So always doing the REST call is not a good approach. Instead of doing that REST API call, we can make that app or service is generic and we can we should reuse it. That's what the problem in our traditional approach. So now let's understand how we can overcome these three issues using our multimodal project. Okay. So this is what the disadvantages we discuss: reusability, maintainability and unnecessary web service call okay so to overcome that issue we can go through the multi-module approach where we can keep one as a parent module and we can write a service module and we can write a controller module and i can write a repository module so whatever the application i have in my project all the service layer i can keep in this service module Similarly, all the controller classes, I can keep this in controller module and for repository also, I can keep all the repository in this repository module. So in future, if I need to use particular repository module to the service module, I can add this repository module as a dependency in these services. Okay. And the second thing, if I found something, the issue is in controller module. So I can do change in this controller module and I can build this particular module instead of build my entire project, isn't it? So this, this is the typical architecture of multi-module project where we should have one parent module and inside the parent module, we need to add multiple modules based on our business. Okay. So we'll understand more about this multi-module project once we'll start the development. Okay. So let's get started. So going forward, let's use this IntelliJ ID for all our Java development. So let's quickly create a multimodal project here. Click on file, new, then click on project. Then click on the Spring Assistant, it will generate the Spring Boot project. So click on Next. Then you need to give your group ID and artifact ID, all this stuff. Okay. 
so let me give the group id com dot java techy then application name i will give hospital management system and then i need to choose the project type as maven form because this is what i want to generate as my parent module and then i can give the project name here same as my hospital management system so give some description demo project for spring boot multi module application similarly you can change the package here so i will give the root package as com dot java techy okay now click on this next so let's add the required dependency i'm going to add lombo and i want uh, to add web dependency which will be spring web then we want jpa here then we want in memory database which will be h2 fine so all the dependency we added now click on next click on finish and i want to open it in new window so click on new window then let me minimize this stuff yeah so if you will open this project we can see only pom.xml right apart from this pom.xml we don't have any src or any resource folder so let's go inside this pom.xml we can see all the dependency which we added right data jpa then web lombo and h2 database right now let's create the module <coughs> So let's say for domain, I will create a domain module for service. I will create a service module. So let's create that. Now click on new, click on this module. Now choose the Maven project. Okay. Then click on next. Then let me give the artifact name as domain where I can keep all my entity class. Okay. Or I can keep my DTO or BO business object, all the stuff here. Okay. Now click on next click on finish so enable this auto import now similar way let's create another module click on new module so let me give the name as service okay so all the service classes i can keep inside this service module click on next click on finish similarly let's create our repository okay so click on next add here the artifact as repository click on next then finish then one more we want to add which will be our controller okay click on module next then add the artifact as controller or we can give the name as web okay click on next finish so we created domain module where i can keep all the entity similarly we created repository module where we can keep our all DAO layer similarly for service and for web okay and let's add one more module here let's give the name as email one so click on this module click next so give name something like email click on next and finish it now if you observe this hospital management system is my parent module right and all the domain email repository service and web is my sub module so i want to make all the sub module as individual jar so that if the issue is in domain module or issue is in service module i can fix that particular module and i can build it to the production right so to make it individual var or jar we need to set the packaging mode here so the packaging is jar so let's add the same in all the sub module let's go to our repository and add it here similarly for service for web and for our email right fine now let's close all the open pom.xml now let's add the business in our each module so let's first go to domain so if you will go inside domain you can find the entire project structure src main test if you go inside main you will find java and resource okay so let's create package here com dot java techy dot model okay then inside this model if you go to slide 
we have doctor patient diagnosis and billing right i need to add all the model here for doctor model patient model and diagnosis like that okay so based on that we need to build our package structure first so add a new package model dot something like doctor okay let me save this click okay now let's add something like a patient model so change it to patient similarly you can add all other model you can add billing you can add diagnosis so let's add only two to show you the uh, multimodal approach okay so now go to the doctor add the entity class here let's give the name doctor so in doctor let me add couple of field private int id then private string name private string what you can specify here uh, specialist okay okay so as we added lumbok we no need to write getter setter we just use the annotation data and we want all argument constructor we want no argument constructor then add to string and make this as entity okay yeah and this should be the primary key fine so we created the model similarly you can create your patient model inside the domain uh, module and you can create your diagnosis all those stuff which we have in our uh, architecture diagram okay so we created domain now let's go and let's create the repository here okay so similarly what we can do i need to create a package com dot java tiki dot um you can specify dao dot um doctor okay and similarly you can add patient here create a package we can specify dao dot patient so if you observe in the repository we added doctor repository we added patient repository and you can add diagnosis repository and billing repository okay so let me create the repository for doctor so create a interface let's make it class then we can give the name something like doctor repository and extend it from the p repository give the model here the model is doctor so if you observe this doctor class is not visible to this repository module right so to access the doctor field in this repository what we need to do we need to add this domain as a dependency in this repository module so go to pom.xml add here dependencies then specify the dependency here give the artifact id as domain so we can add control space yeah then group id as com dot java tiki it should auto populate but something going wrong in my id yeah fine so now if you go to this doctor repository now if you type doctor you can see it here right add the doctor and give the primary key which will be our integer yeah so we created repository now now go to this service and let's create our uh, services for doctor for patient and for all other modules so create a package here com dot java tiki dot service dot doctor click ok similarly create package for our patient now in doctor service we need to add doctor service related logic but in doctor service we need to access this repository right so to access it from services what we can do go to pom.xml and we need to add here repository as a dependency okay so add the dependency here dependencies then add the dependency and specify it like repository okay so give the proper name yeah you can find it here then go go to our group id we can find com.java tiki 
so let me add it here add control space yeah we can see the repository here right now go to your package go to doctor create a class doctor services so annotate this with other at service now we need to inject the repository here right private doctor repository as we added doctor repository as a dependency in service we can able to see this class okay so add it injected using auto add Now let's write some logic here to what we can do to get all the doctor okay so first to get I need to add couple of doctor what I can do public void init doctor I want to initialize couple of doctor so what we can do let's add this as at the red post construct and let's call this repository dot save all and create list of doctor here okay so what I can do I will use stream here I, yeah stream of new doctor so the ID is let's give something like 101 then name give something like John and then give the specialist okay something like cardiac something like that okay so let's add one more doctor object let me copy this it's giving error because we need to convert it to to list now let's add one more doctor here let's add comma and give the id to to and name peter and give the specialist something like i specialist okay fine so we added two doctor objects so let me split this so that we can see it in proper format okay so let me add the semicolon here yeah now let's write a method who will fetch list of doctor object and it will return back to your controller so public list of specify the generic doctor okay so specify get doctor something like that now return repository dot find all yeah so we are done with our service now let's go to our uh, web we'll write our controller so i am adding only related to doctor similar way i created separate package for patient so you can add your patient service and in repository you can add patient repository so i'm just to show you demo i am creating one of them okay so now let's go to our web and let's create our controller so first let me create a package new package com dot java dot controller okay so specify the name doctor controller then similarly create for patient okay now in doctor folder just create a class called doctor controller and annotate this with other rest controller and to access this service inside this web we need to add this service as dependency in this web module isn't it so go to pom.xml add the dependency give the dependency structure add the artifact id here as service then specify the group id as com.java techie it should suggest yeah now save it now let me close all this open file now go to your controller so in controller what we need to do we need to inject the service right private doctor service then service inject using auto add right so and here let's write one rest endpoint public 
let's say it will return list of doctor method name something like get doctors okay and i will return it from service dot get doctors okay and annotate this with get mapping give the url something like doctors okay so this is your the web application and to run this application we need our spring boot main class right so what i can do i will write that inside this web component so create a java class something like hospital management system application so annotate this class with at the rate spring boot application and need to add the main method here we need to write spring application dot run and give the application class name right hms application dot class that's it now this is a what our main application right so this is what the main class and to run this application we need web dependency isn't it so what we can do go to our parent form where we already added the web dependency so let me copy the same dependency control c then let me add it in our web form dot xml okay so let me add it here yeah now go to our hms application so here we need to enable component scan because we are not following the structure right we are using multi module project so component scan give the base package here so what i can give uh, we can specify the com dot java techie which will be our root name right com dot java techie dot star so similar way we need to enable the entity scan because uh, in our domain we are writing multiple entity right so entity scan same give the base package let me copy this give the base packages here add it here similarly what we need to do we need to enable the jpa repository right so here also we need to provide the root uh, package right so give the base packages and add it here copy paste yeah so we enable component scan we enable entity scan and we enable jpa repository as my all the package structure start from com dot java techie then i am giving this as my root package okay so now we can run this application okay so before run this application let's add h2 console let's enable it so that we can see the browser what are the data present in our in memory database so what i can do i will create one folder here uh, let's say the name file application dot properties okay so here i need to enable the h2 console right so the key is spring h2 dot console dot enable okay and specify it true now save it now let's go to our main class now let's run this application run this hms application so let me open the console yeah so if you observe application is open port 8080 now let's go to browser to see the h2 console database input so localhost 8080 slash h2 console yeah click on connect we have the doctor table right now run this script yeah we have two record 101 102 name john and peter so now let's go to browser once open a new tab type localhost 8080 slash doctors right yeah we can able to see the two record right which we added in our in memory database using at the rate post construct annotation so it looks good we converted our traditional approach to multi-module approach 
and we are able to access our application right so if you go to our code let me minimize this console yeah so we have web service repository email domain right now let's say in service or this email i want to use in this service so simply what i can do i will add this email as a dependency in this service so this email i can make it as generic so that whatever the service i have let's say in service i have doctor service right in doctor service i can use the same email application if in patient service there is some requirement to send notification i can again reuse the same email right so let's do one thing to show you the reusability what i can do let's go to this email and let me create a package here so we are not getting the package option here so what i can do let me delete this application okay then we will create a new one click right click then new module click on next so give something like email up click next finish yeah so again add the packaging mode here jar fine now go to this email app main yeah now we are getting the structure right java resource so click on new specify the package here something like com dot java techie dot mail service yeah so here you can create a class email service something like that yeah so annotate this with other at service and simply i just will write the public void method to show you that we can reuse the same functionality okay send email so we should make this uh, application or uh, this email service as generic right so that any type of argument any module can pass and they can access it so what i can do i will simply print something email service working something like that okay now save it so this email service i want to access it from this doctor service so what we need to do go to the pom.xml and add that email api as dependency here right so what we can do dependency in artifact id we need to specify email app and go to this group id type com dot java techie yeah fine now save it go to your service go to your java doctor module doctor services so here what we can do we will simply add one we need to inject the email service here right private email service service yeah inject using auto add and simply from this get doctors method i will call service dot send email right so that in console we can see the message which will get from the send email right now if i need same email features to use in patient service i can simply inject that and i can reuse it similarly whatever the service or whatever the module you have just inject that particular dependency or particular module just reuse it now let's run our application once again let me stop this yeah let me start the application it is building all the module you can see here parsing java web yeah it started so if you observe here application is up on port 8080 now once again go to browser let me refresh this we can see the two record here and if you will go to the console let me go down we should get yeah email service working right so now this email service i can access across my application so wherever i need to access that email service simply i need to add that email api as a dependency and i can reuse it the way we did in this doctor service right so if patient service need again you need to inject that uh, email service and you can reuse the code yeah so this is how we can work on multi module project in real time 
and I found in maximum project people are using this multimodular approach. That's why I prepared this content. Hope you guys will enjoy it. That's all about this particular video guys. Thanks for watching this video. Meet you soon with a new concept.